hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you all how to make a rose with a satin fabric if you're just watching me for the first time please do hit the subscribe button like share and also comment in the comment section for returning subscribers i love you guys so much so the materials we'll be needing are your satin fabric a pair of scissors measuring tape chalk pins thread and needle and also your sewing machine So I'm going to cut out my satin fabric and I'll measure 38 inches as width. And then for the length, I'll measure 31 inches. So I'm just going to fold this fabric into two like this so that I can get the middle of the fabric this is actually for my base gillet this is what is just going to be on your head so i'm going to divide the fabric into two like this the gillet is going to have a v-shape in front and that's why i'm cutting it this way so after cutting it, I'm going to stitch the edges of the fabric. I'm just going to take that to my machine and then stitch the edges and I'll be folding it by an inch on both sides of the fabric. So guys, I've done that. After doing that, you discover that you have 17 inches left as width. So at this point, I'm going to pick up one of the fabrics and I'm going to fold it like this. I'll just start making my pleats. And I'll make pleats on the two fabrics that I just cut out. So once you're done, this is what it should look like. I'm going to pick these fabrics right now and I'll just iron them. This is so that while I sew, the pleats stay in place, they don't unravel at all. It's usually easier this way. So I've stitched my first pleat, I'm going to go ahead to stitch the second pleat. All you have to do is to make sure that the second pleat covers the first pleat stitch line. And then the third pleat covers the second pleat stitch line. The fourth pleat covers the third pleat stitch line. As simple as that, it goes on and on. So I'm going to stitch the two base gilly fabrics that I cut out the same way. I'll also pick up my fabric again and measure 8 inches as width. This is for this is measurement for the hook. I'll measure 8 inches as width and then for the length I'll measure 13 inches. This is what will enable me not the gilly at the back. So I'll just fold this into two like this and then cut it at the middle. Once you're done doing that, you discover that you are left with 4 inches on both sides. I'm going to pick up the two fabrics I have here and then I'll just stitch the edges and I'll be folding it by half an inch. 
So these are my base fabrics. I'll just place them across each other like this so that it can give me a V shape in front. And then after doing that, I'll mark the place where they intersect. I'll also turn it over to the dull side of the fabric like this and stitch. So once you flip it over, you discover that it gives you a V shape in front. I'm going to pick them up right now and then stitch them together so they become one. So I'm going to pick up my hook right now and then stitch it to the body of the gilly. And I'll be doing it this way and then I'll just stitch. So guys, I'll be doing this on the left hand side and also on the right hand side of the base gilly. Once you're done, this is what you should have. I'm going to pick up my satin fabric again and I'll measure 23 inches as width and then for the length I'll measure 12.5 inches. There's no precise measurement to this one. It all depends on how big or how small you want your rows to be. So I'll, at this point I'll just make few pleats like this. And then once I'm done I'll stitch at the middle. Once you're done stitching, hold one side of the fabric and just make a spiral movement like this. And then secure everything by stitching it. I'm going to hold the other side of the fabric that is left and I'll just repeat the same thing. Once you're done, pick up your rows and then place it on the body of the ghillie. That's the base ghillie and stitch everything together. Stitch all round onto your show that it is as secured as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
if this video has been helpful to you in any way please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe share and also comment in the comment section guys if you've not turned on your notification button please do that so that each time i post you get the notification and you'll be the first to know if there's any gala you want me to tie for you please send it to my dm via instagram and i'll definitely be glad to help you thank you all so much for watching this video see you all in my next bye bye